welcome everybody aboard today with uh, Captain Jeff Conk, myself, Captain Mike Taylor. We're over here on the Noose River today. It's mid-December, uh, getting a little bit of a late start. It's probably about 9 o'clock in the morning. Our cameraman slept in a little bit this morning. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. But anyway, it's uh, we're going to have about 60, mid-60s today. Uh, that's the reason why we're starting a little bit late. You look, get that sun up and let the water warm that water up a little bit. Hold on. on right now. Yeah. <laughs> you picked it that? up. It's not like Mike to pull out the first fish, is it? We've got, what do you got there? Small flounder. Flounder. That's what we're going to say something about, too. We've got uh, these fish are in a wintertime pattern, and we're going to have a variety of species moving up into the, uh, up the river. So we're in the Noose River, like Mike said, whether it's the Noose River or New River. Pamlico River, the local rivers around Swansboro, Wadwick River, doesn't matter. We're going to have our southern flounder today we're looking for and some speckled trout, maybe some stripers over this way we're expecting. And um, sometimes you even catch a large mouth bass or two, so we'll see what happens today. We're going to be using a variety of baits and you really switch things up in the, in the winter time. Mike, Mike said it's mid-December. We've had a lot of nights lately in the upper 20s to 30s. Mike's throwing a, uh, right now throwing a a four inch pogey, a pink one. He just put that flounder in the boat on that little 13 inch flounder. Small red? Yeah. Hey, lost my bait. How far offshore was he? Probably about 25 feet. Maybe that's what I had hit mine, too. A little small size is he? redfish. Just a little 17. Small. Fat and healthy. Nice fish as a trout, isn't it? Oh. See, it's a small rock, isn't it? I don't know, it's acting odd. I don't know. That's a trout, nice trout. You don't need net, do you? <laughs> He's gonna come off, probably. It's a nice no, one. Not. Oh, yeah. Nice one. Pretty trout. He's probably a little over two pounds. All your back feeder creeks off of all your rivers, doesn't matter where you're at. Uh, they're going to hold your bait in the deep holes. Uh, so that's why all the predator fish, you know, they're looking after the bait. They're going to be in here too, right along with them. Also, they're, you can get back in these shallow bays when that sun comes up in the afternoon. That water temperature will go up, what, 10 degrees? Yeah, Jeff? Then it'll come up real quick. They'll come up out of them holes and get up on these bays and feed. A lot of times you have a little bit better bite when that water is real cold. Come here in the afternoon, you, you after work or or whatever, you know, on the weekend, just any time in the afternoon, get you a good bite going on right before dark. This water warm up a good five to ten degrees. Small one. He hit the four-inch pogey. Hot pink. A little too small. We've got our water temperature, I think right now, this morning I checked it here, is, in the, is around 52, 53 degrees, which is kind of warm for this time of the year still. You figure if you had a lot of cold snaps in the 30s and whatnot, most of these creeks are, a lot of them are under 10 foot of water. And they'll get real cold real fast, and then they'll heat up real fast too. So we did have two or three nights, what, in the 30s recently? Yeah. Even last night was about 35, so. But uh, the water temperature is still there at 50 plus. So uh, when we have a really cold, um, really cold water temperature, and then a nice sunny day like today in the 60s, you'll see a lot of the bait come to the surface. But you know the water temperature this morning was actually uh, warmer than the air, and those bait fish are probably just staying down in the water column. So we'll be looking for that today as we move from creek to creek. And it could be any one of these creeks. I think off the Noose River, Mike, what, from the mouth of the Noose all the way up to New Bern, either creek, either major creek on either side. Most of these creeks are, you know, from a mile to four or five miles long. And uh, some of them are half a mile wide, too. So they're big areas. We'll be talking about them. We'll, we'll hit several creeks today for sure. I've already had a call this morning from a friend, uh, Drew Gatman. He just told me he had, uh, he's been fishing about two hours up close to New Bern. He's already put six keeper, you know, anywhere from four to six pound rock in the boat. So if he calls me back, which I just had a ring, 
That might be him. Apparently, I went fishing with the wrong person today. I should be on with Drew instead of Mike. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to head up there and try to catch a rock. Right now, we're, we're in search mode, casting, you know, long distance. See so how far you can throw that? And work that bait back to you. There's one right there, something. What is it? Ah, uh, either a small striper or a little trout. All right. Trout. Not bad. Nice trout. Two pounds, two and a half. Folks, we moved across the river in this small creek. The sun's really got it pretty good. We're going to try out the shallow water for a little bit. We just caught a, a real small throwback flounder. Other than that, it's been kind of slow. Our plan right now is to fish in here a little bit, try some shallow water. If we don't do any good, we're going to go hit some deeper holes. Uh, might not have warmed up enough yet to for them specks to uh, move into that shallow water yet. Haven't seen a whole lot of bait this, you know, today. Bait's been scarce. It, you know, all the bait might be holding them deep holes. That's why we're not doing any good here in this shallow water. Mike got something on back there off that little floating dock. Either a small trout or a small flounder. Got no, no head shake, does it? Yeah, it's got a, just a quiver to it. That's a flounder, probably. Flounder, yeah. Think about it, over here you don't, there's no telling. We're fishing what, four foot of water here? At the most. Four foot of water, but it's real muddy up near the head of these creeks. He's right on the bottom right now, cruising along down there. Oh yeah. Looks like about a 14 to 17 inch flounder somewhere in there. About 15, 16, Might somewhere. Keep. Yeah, he's Pretty staying nice down deep. It's not that big, it's but close. A measure. 15 maybe. Yeah, he looks like he's 15 inches. <clears throat> Probably 15. Let's put him on that scale real quick up here and see. We might throw back, keep one for every four or five we catch. You know, one keeper for every four or five you catch, but a couple of those to put in the frying pan ain't bad. Again, you know, you're sitting in the middle of December. You know, most people, if you're from the coastal area down near the oceans, you don't think about catching flounder this time of year, but you, know, you have that option. You have that something to do. You can catch them. Mixed in with those trout, some stripers, and a little bit of everything. Flounder, he's surfing. <laughs> little flounder. Small. It'd be good this time next year, though. <laughs> yeah, about a little 10 inch flounder. One of those little southern flounder we're talking about moving up the creeks. That's the key. The key is the bait first, more than anything, you know. That's right. Uh, I had a little bump a minute ago, probably just another flounder, but you never know. It could be trout. I'm trying to catch him out of here before Mike does in case it's a trout or a good sized redfish. <laughs> This water temperature up in the mid 50s right now, you know, you can notice how we're working these baits. It's just like at the rock jet or anywhere we were working. What you're doing is throwing it out, letting it hit the bottom, give it a couple of jerks and take up the slack. Then you want to follow it down. It's falling, falling, still falling. And just as soon as it hits the bottom, pop it back a couple of times and you're getting the rhythm. It probably takes well, about three seconds most of the time yeah. on our weight to get back. What you want to do is just get in that rhythm to where just as soon as you think it's going to hit the bottom, pop it a couple times. Tighten your line up and you want to put pressure so it falls slow. If you don't, if, if you can pop it like this and then just let it go real quick, a lot of times when it's colder like this, them trout, they'll pass it up. Yeah. It just falls too fast for them to grab it. We'll take if there's not a real bad problem. You got go. fish right there? Fish right there. Flounder. <laughs> Maybe that was a flounder that thumped me. <laughs> He's close. 
Yeah, he's about uh, 13 he's and a half to 14 and a quarter. I think he's 14, right close to it. Here's the, uh, let's check it out right here real quick. Over 14, 14 and a quarter. It's a keeper. Yeah. Little summer flounder. And we've got some mud minnows in here. If you look down in the live well, I've had those mud minnows in there. Well, if you watched the episode that we shot a, two or three weeks ago, a few weeks back on uh, the jetty at Cape Lookout, those are the same mud minnows from two or three weeks ago. Um, when I'm on the when we're on the water every two second or third day on the water, you know, obviously it's getting some raw water. But in between that, every two or three days, and the boat's sitting at the house, and those mud minnows are still lively, and, and uh, they're doing good. You will. Twice on me. Yeah. Right in front of me, you catch a flounder. What do you got here, another flounder? Look at oh, that's a trout. Let me get a net off. Right. Muscle trout there. Not a big one, but no, he'll work, though. It's not that 11-pounder, but he's not bad. Right at two pounds, probably. He'd probably be back home. Come off at the boat. Back home, he'd probably be a pound and a half, but he's so fat in here. Look how fat that fish is. You guys can see here, this was, that was a lead head. It started out as a 3 sixteenths. And I just take my scissors or pliers and trim it down. I like to trim it at that angle. It kind of keeps that bait when you put pressure on it and it's falling at that angle. It makes it fall even a little bit more slower. Just a, anything to stall that bait out and let it fall slow, they, they'll eat it up. They can't stand it. Hold it right there. Something's up. What do you got? He's diving down deep again. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he just came up. How deep is it there? It's right up here in this deep water. In six feet here. Need a net? Yeah, grabbing that net. He's got a little size to him. He's not a spike like that last one. No, I can flip him in. He's just about 16 inches. Nice. 17, maybe 17 inches. They're fat though. Look at that creek. It's real brackish in here. That water is like pure fresh. Pure fresh. About a pound and three quarter to two pound. Again, pretty fat up in here. Not as fat as those ones this morning. Got him. Yeah, you're snaking me again. <laughs> I got? don't think he knows seven pounder. No. It looks like a trout though. Definitely a trout. It's alright, I get him. Nice golden. About Pretty a pound trout. and a half. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Pound and a half. Two pounds. Almost two pounds. Pound and three quarter. Ain't bad. Yeah. Hey, it's late December. We're we're still, late we December, we're catching fish anyway. <laughs> right? Yeah, we're both. We're both still we're way up the head of this creek, and we're both just sticking with the pogies. Small one. He's not big. MR17. Little guy. About seven. Switching up baits on me without me knowing. You gotta do something. The last two trout you put in the box, I had to catch one. He's about 17 inches, pound and a half. Getting some good uh, cloud cover coming in here. Yeah, that's. I like there might be some rain over there. I know, look at that edge right there that came over. About 20 minutes ago, we had a, uh, a good strong breeze, about 10 to 15 miles an hour pickup, and then it just dropped right out again. We got some dark sky on us. It's getting late. It's about it's getting late. 3.45 to 4 o'clock in the afternoon now. A few more casts here. We need to head up to the bridge with this cloud cover. Yeah, I'm thinking See the same thing. Fish come up. That is wicked. Look at that. When it gets here, it's going to really darken the skies up and you have big schools of stripers come up and start breaking. You can catch them on topwater baits and uh, you can use just about anything really. We left the artificial reef there a minute ago and 
uh, after we scouted in birds for a while, nothing showed up, so we come up here to the big bridge here. And this is the 17 bridge that goes across the Neese River here in Newburn. I'm marking some good marks on the depth finder right now. Good, good slashes, look like rockfish. Some uh, bait on them structure down there. So. No bites yet though. I think we're both uh, throwing this four inch pogey still. Striper. <laughs> <laughs> Catching that late afternoon bite. Hit that Rapala extra? Uh, I don't know if he hit that. I don't think he did hit that. <laughs> hit the gulp. That one hit a gulp. About 18, 19 inches. Like Fat. Look how chunky he is, Mike. <laughs> hey, yeah. Got some thickness to him. It's just naturally always late in the evening. Striper uh, just love to. Yeah, and rockfish always bite best real late, right before dark, and uh, early before the sun comes up. The regulation on the rockfish this year is 18 inches. He's just at it, barely. And they dropped it this year, for everybody who don't know, two per person. It used to be three per person. He's 17 and, 17 and three quarter right there. Real fat fish though. We're in 12 foot. I was probably six, seven foot down. I mean, no, that's a nice one there. Oh yeah, rock fishing bite. That's right where I had that bite. <laughs> he nailed mine. Missed it. Yeah, I had to go back in there and claim him for you. <laughs> <laughs> I hear you. Oh, he's got a brother. Feels like he's a little bigger. Might hit. Yeah, a little bit better here. He'll keep. Oh, yeah. There's a 20 incher. He'll go 20. Come on out of there, buddy. He doesn't want to come out of there. Come here. They're good about locking those gills down and rolling back and forth. There he goes. Nice fish there. Nothing wrong with that one. I didn't mean to take your fish from you. He's 21 and a, 21 inches, 21 and a half inches. I know what I'm eating tonight. <laughs> Good eating. I don't know, I'd turn back around. We didn't even work that other set. I have it one off that one set and we just went right on by it. There he is. Or feels maybe like we'll trout. just keep. Huh? Feels like a trout. Might be a small striper. Must be a real small. Yeah, it's just a small one. Keep on casting those ones. I'll cast that 21 <laughs> inch. <laughs> yeah, I hear you. <laughs> just like a trout. Shaking hey, head. right species. Yeah. He is small. Ain't that small. <laughs> Sorry, he ain't small. He's fat, isn't he? Not small about him. It's 20 inches, 21 inches. Nice rockfish. You gotta love fishing the river. Got to. You can catch everything. Can't A little you? bit of everything today. Flounders <laughs> and trout. One little nice stripers. Well, we got the sun has gone down on us. It's just, just getting dark on us here. We we got that. We took advantage of that late start this morning. Yeah. You got a late start this morning, about nine o'clock or so, and we caught a handful of trout. Probably caught a dozen trout today, and four or five flounders. Mike had a puppy drum, and and we covered through. I think three good sized creeks here in the noose today, and we caught that late afternoon, early evening bite there. What we catch? How many did we catch this then? I think we caught about end up boating five. Caught five stripers just now and a couple more knockdowns in about a half hour right before sunset there. So um, a couple nice fish out of it, about 21, about 21, 22 inches and a few throwbacks and some good action. So a good mixture today, a good bag of fish today. Mid-December, <laughs> um, just about everything we catch, you catch down at the coast, you know, fishing for up the river here. Yeah. 
flounders, stripers, redfish, speckled trout. You know, you can do right on through the winter time, you've got that bite. Lose the, lose the stripers, you can do the same thing in the New, in the New River in Jacksonville. Pamlico River. And then uh, even in Swansboro, White Oak River, we'll catch trout and some puppies and stuff, a few flounders and, and even a few stripers up White Oak too during the winter time. So it's just, you just got to take your time, cover the ground, work a lot of you know, variety of different baits, suspending baits, hard baits, soft baits, and, uh, and look for that bait. You know, a few of the creeks we went in today, we didn't see any bait, and a few creeks we did see some bait.